What's up guys, Dylan here from Veteran Aquatics and today I added a bunch of new fish to my fish room. Stay tuned to check them out, I got some really really cool fish for you guys today. Alright, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, so if you've been following my channel, you know the stuff that has happened recently and the big die-off that I had while I was moving. I'm still, um, I'm waiting for a contractor to come out to do some of the electrical work um, for the fish room to be. And in the meantime, I'm in the detached garage and I, I wanted to not get fish. I wanted to. That never works, ever. I should just stop saying it because I always end up getting more fish. I have a problem, guys. I just, good deals, I have the tank space, we're gonna do it. Yeah, so, these are awesome fish though. Um, after I went and picked them up, blown away. The gentleman that I got them from, Josh, had an awesome fish room. Unfortunately, he wasn't ready for a tour of it yet. Um, he was still building it, and he wanted to clean up and stuff like that. But I will go back, and I will tour Josh's fish room. Josh had an awesome fish room, a lot of really cool fish. Um, I was there with Chris Matsko. Obviously, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with Chris. Um, but we had a good time. We got to see some really cool fish, and I got some really cool fish. So without too much further ado, let's go ahead and show you what I picked up. Whoa, Dylan, that's a lot of angelfish. Yeah, that's a lot of angelfish. I bought a lot of angelfish. I got an incredible deal on them. They're all adults for the most part. There's a couple of pairs of them in here. Oh man, I like angelfish, so for me this was this was too easy. Um, I actually ended up giving Chris a couple of pairs for his tank. Uh, we set up his 75 gallon, so he's got a couple of pairs in there too. But man, just these guys are big. Because if you look, like that's one of my original angelfish. This albino pear is huge. That black, that black one right there is enormous. Um, I think Chris, nope, there we go. There's the big koi. Alright, so I got some beautiful angelfish. These, these are some really, really nice angelfish. I don't know why my rainbow fish is swimming weird, but it's concerning. Um, but I got some amazing angelfish. I think there was 18 in total when I went. Uh, I gave Chris six, so I got the rest of them. But you can see, like, there's a nice veil, koi veil right there, it's a marbled, there's just a regular old striped one back there, solid black ones, I love black angelfish, man, it's a <laughs> good thing for the camera because um, in the light in this room, you can't even hardly see them against the sand, but yeah, that's the albino pair back there, uh, the black one is paired, I believe, with that striped one in the back, or the koi one is. Uh, so we're going to give our hand at trying to breed angelfish here at some point. And that's not all I got, man. So, like, this is a 90 tall, so it works out well. It'll hold these fish for now. I'm probably going to end up breaking them up into 40 breeders or maybe even 20 gallons to breed them. And see if I can't start selling them out through the club and stuff like that. But there are some super cool looking angels. He came in like this. I didn't do that to his fins. But there's some really, really nice ones. I love that albino pair. They're absolutely gorgeous. But I also got something else. If they'll come out, which I sincerely doubt because they have yet to do so since last night. Oh, there he is. Do you know what that is? You probably don't. It's okay. The lighting's not great. The tank's a little dirty. That's a pair of Bolivian rams. So this is actually a breeding pair. A mated breeding pair of Bolivian rams. Um, I also got the plants from him last night. So Josh's fish room, I guess he, he was kind of doing a switch over, like a changeover of what he's trying to do. These Africans are starting to color up. And he, he didn't want the big fish, the cichlids, he didn't want angelfish. He'd gotten rid of some of his stuff already. Um, and he had actually reached out to me, fortunately, and let me know that he was going to be ditching a bunch of fish soon. And, like any good fish keeper, not fully intending on getting anything, I asked him what he had. 
And that's how I got the angelfish. He's like, you know, I have probably 20 adult angels. Some of them are paired off, some of them aren't. And I, I kind of just need them to go. Who better to take all those angelfish than me? Right? Somebody had to do it. And I wanted to give Chris some fish because I knew we were setting up his tank. He had said he wanted to do something like geos and angelfish. Um, I know he got a pair of Belly Union cichlids, uh, cichlosoma. And they're doing all right. But yeah, these, man, I just, <laughs> I like so many different kinds of fish. Fortunately, cichlids are still angelfish, so technically I'm within keeping of, you know, of the angel, or of the cichlids. But these guys are gorgeous, and it's, it's hard to do them justice, especially over a camera. But the stripes on these, these albinos are really well defined. They have nice vintage, like you can see there in the back. And the, just overall, man, like, gorgeous, 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 full-grown angelfish. And the price I got them at was kind of, it was a steal, for sure. Um, he had originally told me 20 and then he's like, oh, I miscounted, here's some money back, and I just wouldn't take it, because I already knew the deal I was getting at. More than, more than happy to give him a couple extra bucks, or just to give it to him in general. Because believe it or not, I'm not actually here to rip people off. That said, if you say you're just going to give me something, I'm probably going to take it. Uh, but yeah, so I got all of these awesome angelfish. I am going to try to separate them out in the new fish room. I have all these 20 gallons, but I have more, and I'm probably going to get more. And then we'll, we'll separate them all out. We'll get them all breeding. We'll get them either in through the club or through the local stores. I would like one day, hold on, let me turn the camera around and talk about this. I would really like one day to be able to breed enough fish where I could turn around and sell them. Um, through the club, through the auctions, through stores and stuff like that, but I would like to do my own website and my wife and I have talked about it. And once I get the new fish room up and running, once I get things established in breeding, it depends on how much I can churn out, but I might try it. Um, I know Scott is gonna, you know, he's looking to start his website for his Paracromus and his Amphilophus fry. Michael from Michael's Fish Room actually can't breed fast enough to sell them, so we're gonna we're gonna see, right? Because everyone wants to have a fish store, but as Corey from Aquarium Co-op says, the best way to make a million dollars in a fish store business is to start with two million. I hope to fix that with low overhead, doing everything myself. Um, kind of selling more select stuff. So let me show you the kind of things I, I would like to breed. So like this guy, this Red Texas. Now this is a cross usually between like a blood parrot and a green Texas, like Fluffy who has knocked his lid down. So you usually get that with a cross. So I will either have to find like a female flower horn is probably a good shot to try to breed him. Uh, but red texas aren't naturally occurring anyway. I know some people hate, you know, hybrid species, but I like them. Yep, and they're gone now. Oh, there's one. But I would like to breed these Bolivian rams. I would like to get some black rams. Um, if you guys watch Aquarium Co-op, you know Dean has some really, really, really nice black rams. And I'd, I'd love to get some black rams going. I might even have some of my own shipping with me, because that's a thing. These Africans, get some OBs going. That'd be a cool project. Everyone loves OBs. Africans are super popular. So if I could breed those up, that would be nice. Flower horns. They keep killing each other. I have to separate them. But hopefully I can breed some flower horns because that'd be super dope. You'll notice the Oscar is out. Uh, I did take someone's advice and take him out of this tank because, well, the Oscars are kind of savages. So yeah. These rainbow cichlids, these guys are super pretty, They're super colorful. Um, they were ridiculously colored up yesterday, but my guess is that they probably want to spawn, but they can't because of the tilapia and the pike. So I would like to breed the rainbow cichlids. I want to get some more jags, I want to breed jags. Angelfish, clearly. I would love to breed the bandits down here. The bandit cichlids and the geos that I have would be really cool to breed. 
So pretty much any kind of cichlid um, is where I'm at with it. You know, angelfish, rams, American, African, it doesn't bother me. I love all cichlids. Maybe I'll get another another mine and breed some of them out because he's really pretty and you can tell it's a male because his fins are almost like his uh, dorsal and anal fin are almost to his tail fin. I will probably not breed the Oscars um, unless they manage to make the fry, care for the fry, and raise the fry. Only because one, Oscars are super mistreated, there's already enough of them in the hobby, they're already pretty cheap. Um, like I rescued the one and the other three, the other two were at a fish store. So I'm, I'm not real keen on breeding Oscars out. I mean some people do, somebody's got to do it, but it's not, not high on my list of priorities. It's not a fish I, I would readily be looking to breed. Um, I definitely want to get more parachroma species, uh, more of the bigger cichlids going. I would love to get a set of true parrot cichlids. Beautiful fish, I love them. Some Jack Dempsey's, Green Terrace, stuff like that. So this is way early. Like this, this isn't going to be a thing for probably another year if it is ever a thing. But if you'd be interested in that, something like an all-in-one cichlid store where you can breed, you know, buy locally bred, or not necessarily locally, but homebred fish. Would you guys be interested in that? If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if that's something that would interest you, if it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea, if too many people are trying to do it already. You know, I'm not trying to influx the hobby with a bunch of unwanted fish, but at the same time, I love these fish, and the goal is always to make the fish room pay for itself, right? It's an expensive hobby, and even with all the DIY stuff that I do, and all the bargain hunting I do, and all the auctions and stuff like that, rehomes, like, it still costs a lot of money. So, if you guys think it's a good idea, let me know down below, right? Um... I am a tech guy by trade, so I'll get a website up and running and stuff like that once it's in full swing if I can. What I would probably do is build the website after I had the first set of fry and let them grow out a bit and then start selling them from there. But yeah guys, so that's it for today. I just wanted to show you my, my awesome new fish that I was super excited about. I was out really late last night getting them. We ended up staying in Josh's fish room for a while and then we went back to Chris's house. And that, that's a, it's not a super far drive. But it's not a close drive either. But yeah. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking everything out. Uh, I hope you really like those angelfish because I know I love them. Uh, I have always been a fan of angelfish. And for a while, I had a hard time keeping them. They seem to like the water here better than they did where I was before. So that's, that's a big, big plus. All right. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, let me know down below if you think it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea. Whatever your opinion on it is. And uh, we can discuss it. Peace out.